What's going on there, YouTube? Matt from Virginia, Passion for Cards. Coming at you with another video. First off, uh, for starters in the background, got this Casey's Lager Beer Can from the Valley Forge Brewing Company, Philly, PA, in Cleveland. A little story here about Philadelphia legend, center fielder Richie Ashburn. And then you can see here it's from the 1980 American Brewers Historical Collection. So I was at my local card shop well, a few years back and usually if I go in there and spend a little coin he'll throw something my way. So he's like, what do you want? I said, oh, anything Philly related. I saw that Richie Ashburn empty beer can there and I said, let me get that. And he's like, all right. So, brought it home and threw it up on the shelf. And I think it's pretty neat. So, I'll be honest, I don't know. Uh, there must be other cans in that collection, that 1980 collection. Um, never really looked to see, but you can see it's got the old school pop top on it. So, pretty neat. All right, what I'm bringing at you today is I got a probably a couple hundred cards in, in uh, magnetics, some of the thicker patch cards and jersey cards and stuff like that that won't really fit in uh, binder sheets too well because they're a little too thick. So I figured I'd run through, make several videos, just kind of go through these. It's probably nothing super valuable, but some cool stuff that I've just pulled out of packs, mostly pulled out of packs throughout the years. Um, a few I guess I've purchased along the way, but I would say the majority of them are just from pulling packs of tops and pro debut and all that good stuff. So, And then the rest of the collection that I have is pretty much all in binders. So once I get through this set of cards, I'll start doing some binder videos and get into the majority of, of my collection. So this first one will be um, all minor league. So I do collect the Topps Pro Debut and the Topps Heritage Miners. I get those sets every year, try to complete the sets. There are some tougher to get short prints, so I don't know that I've got full sets of everything. But, but these are some of the cards that I've pulled over the years out of either Pro Debut or Heritage. So all minor league stuff. So we'll start with a out of 2017, numbered out of 50. Mr. Gliber Torres. From Heritage Clubhouse Collection. I believe he just came up or is getting ready to come up. So and there's the back. Also out of 2017, Heritage Miners numbered, well, not numbered, for the Red Sox. I guess this is maybe the Portland Sea Dogs, Raphael Devers. So that's a good one. Also from 2017, from the Tampa Yankees, not numbered, pitcher Dylan Tate. Also from the Portland Sea Dogs, 2017, Topps Heritage, another Raphael Devers. This is the 68 Mint card. It's got the 1968 U.S. Nickel in it. You can see numbered 98 out of 99. So pretty cool. From 2016, Topps Pro Debut. One of the subsets called Fragments from the Farm. Numbered out of 50. Piece of the base from Huntington Park. And Huntington Park is home of the Columbus Clippers. From 2017 Pro Debut, also a fragment of the farm from the Tulsa Drillers. This is padding from the home dugout at Oneok Field. Home of the Tulsa Drillers.
This is at a 2017 Pro Debut. This is the, they do the theme nights at the ballpark. So this first one here is numbered out of 50. Dora the Explorer Day. Pretty cool jersey piece there. For the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. So Dora was the theme night. So pretty cool. Another theme night was the Home Improvement Night. Wilmington Blue Rocks, also numbered out of 50. Nice plaid piece of jersey there. The Paint the Park Red Night for the St. Louis, excuse me, St. Louis, St. Lucie Mets, numbered out of 99. Another theme night. And like I said, not a you know not a lot of value to these cards, but they're really cool. Some of the cool things that minor league teams get into to to try to draw some some fans. And then you got Superheroes Night from the Tri City Valley Cats, numbered out of ninety nine. With some nice chunks of jersey there, pretty cool cards. From 2016 Pro Debut, got these commemorative patch relics. First one I have is Victor Robles from the Auburn Double Days. So a nice commemorative patch there. Oh, I'm sorry, that one is numbered out of 50. It's numbered on the back. My bad. Got another one uh, numbered out of 99. Ozzy Albies from the Rome Braves. Real cool commemorative patch. There's the numbering out of 99. Also from 16 Pro Debut. And then I think the last commemorative patch out of 16 Pro Debut. Numbered... 10 out of 50, Mr. Aaron Judge of the Scranton Wilkes Bear Rail Riders. I think that's part of the cool thing about collecting the pro debut and the, the Heritage Miners. You know, a lot of times when I'm opening them that year, I don't hardly know any of the players. You know, and then two, three years later, you kind of go back and look through them and you're like, oh my God. I don't know who Aaron Judge was when I pulled that card. Maybe some of y'all did because you prospect or you follow the minors a little more than obviously than I do, but had no clue who he was. And uh, obviously he's turned out so far to, to be a decent player. Here's a cool one from the Altoona Curve. This is a mascot relic. I guess their mascot's name is Steamer. You got kind of a fuzzy piece of his uniform or costume. That one's not numbered. Got another one of these fragments of the farm from 2017 Pro Debut. Again, the Columbus Clippers, Huntington Park. Game used base. And that one's also not numbered. Got two more for you. 2017 Heritage Miners. Got a Clubhouse Collection jersey card of Raphael Devers, number 32 of 99. And lastly from the Phils, number one overall pick. Numbered... Six out of ten there in the top left. 2017 pennant patch card. Of hopefully one day Phillies great Mickey Moniak. Alright, so there you have it. Just kind of a little example. Again, those are all just from the minor league side of business. So I got a bunch more coming from major leagues. Again, all kinds of commemorative patches, regular patches, um, Hall of Fame plaques, all kinds of cool stuff. So 
stay with me. I'll make a bunch of videos uh, over the next few days to start showcasing some of those other cards. Hope you enjoyed these, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Stay classy.